Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm your host Veteran Mountain Man and it's another Spiritual Thursday. Today's topic is actually going to be about digesting philosophy in ways that you might not have thought about. Now, a lot of people in school, when they were studying, they would have to read whole sections of a book and memorize large sections in order to pass the examinations. Well, as adults... The exam is not the thing that we're studying to in most cases, because many of us are reading these things not in school, but for our own edification. So there are techniques that can be used that will actually slow you down, take a little more time, but allow you to digest and seriously think on it. And what I want to recommend is the technique I use. So the technique I use, I actually take small sections, a paragraph or two, or three or four different verses, if it's something like the Hagakura or, you know, the Bible, um, the Quran, things of that nature. I'll take three or four verses out of one of those, or if it's like a psychology or sociology book, or even like a non-fiction of today, I'll take a few paragraphs. I'll read those few paragraphs or those few verses, and then I will think on them throughout the day. Now, what uh, what do I mean by think on them? Well, it starts usually when I'm reading them, which is at night when I go to bed. Uh, I'll sit there, I'll read them slowly, I'll seriously think about them while I'm reading them. <laughs> kind of ponder on them pretty hard go to sleep. When I wake up in the morning, I try to see if I can recall what I read that night. I'll then go back over it and just kind of think on it throughout the day. Try to see if it applies in my day. Try to see if I can observe things that are going on. Try to see if there are ways that it fits in my daily life. And this is one way where you can kind of sort of build... Uh, neural pathways to help you think about this stuff and analyze it while also trying to use some of this in your daily life. And it can actually show you how correct the understanding is based on your day-to-day interactions. Because a lot of things when it comes to philosophy and abstract thought interact with your daily life. As for history and non-fictions and such, you can see the effects of history throughout time by the way people behave. And many of these non-fictions are discussing politics, current events, and society, and you can even see the effects of these things, whether they're true, whether they're not. Now, Also, you need to rely upon objective proof for determining these things, but you can see the the thought processes from life around you that cause these kind of understandings. So this method I have found will just allow you to interact and absorb these ideas better, give you a more clear understanding of how they interact with your life, And can even help you in some deeper reflections in your life. Uh, And it's just, it's a technique that I recommend. And I think that you should give it a try, especially for those of you who are, you know, kind of following in some studies like I do on a daily basis. It can help you get through a larger book without feeling overwhelmed and can give you the motivation to use knowledge that you've acquired in a daily fashion. Well, thank you all again for joining me. Please don't forget to like and subscribe or thumbs up and subscribe if you're on BitChute. Also, don't forget to come over to my sponsor for Spiritual Thursday, unapologeticpagan.com. And of course, as always, have yourself a beautiful Thursday.